What's up guys, I'm Natasha Takahashi, Chief Marketing Officer and Co-Founder at School of Bots. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a lead generation funnel inside of a bot. If you have never done anything inside of a chatbot before or even gone through them before, you'll be able to utilize the framework I'm about to walk you through to create your first funnel and start sending traffic to it. So starting at the very beginning, unlike email, you can actually opt people in nine different ways with Facebook Messenger, which is really exciting, opens up a lot of opportunities. And to go even deeper on that, you can actually opt people in in multiple ways using those nine different ways. So let's start at the very beginning here. I'm just going to show you guys two examples. One of the ways you can opt people in is using a link that is directly sending people to your chatbot. If you're using a Facebook Messenger bot, it would just be an m.me forward slash URL and then your page username. So really simple, but you can actually create something inside of manychat.com that allows you to send someone directly to this flow here. Okay, so we've got our link first, and then I'm also gonna say, you can send people to your bot from your website a plethora of different ways. I'm not gonna write all nine of them out on here, but you can definitely dig, and it's pretty easy to find all the different nine ways that you can bring people in. So always ways to continue to expand this campaign after you built it out. All right, so now that we've opted people in, I'm just gonna make a note that there are nine different ways. And first, we're gonna send people to the opt-in message, which is going to be message number one. All right, now from this, something really amazing that you can do with Messenger is track every single interaction that someone has with your bot. Whether they click on a button, they click on something called a quick reply, which looks like a little bubble at the bottom of the conversation, or they type something to your bot, all of those can be tracked. And that's really helpful to know lead score and how many touch points it took for someone to buy. Okay, so we've got our opt-in message one. So now what we're gonna do is make a note that someone just opted in. Um, and also we want to create a field that I typically call funnel progress. Now it's really easy to do this inside of a tool like ManyChat where you simply create a field called funnel progress and you can update the value of that field after each interaction someone takes. So that's what I'm referring to here when I say field. And so the name of that field might be something like, or the value of it after we create it might be something like message one. So that that way I just know this person is currently at message one at any given point if I were to take a look at their profile, right? So this is where our automation is happening. Now after this, we're gonna have our message two. And this can just be anything that you want, right? This might be where you're asking some questions. Um, let's say maybe you are in the real estate industry and you wanna know if someone wants to buy or sell a home, right? So maybe you ask a few questions about that there or any sort of segmenting information that you need. Now from there, we're also going to attach a tag and field here. We're gonna update that same field now. Maybe it has a value of message two instead of message one. And then we're also just gonna use that tag to let us know that they completed this certain series of questions. And finally, we're gonna to go to message three, which again can create or can contain any sort of lead qualifying questions that you wanna ask them to really just get more information about them and understand what they're all about before. Maybe you send them on their way to some content or you follow up with them to book a call, whatever the goal or the call to action is at the end of the funnel. And then we're also gonna have our tag in our field over here. Now, the most important part about this whole thing and the reason why I emphasize that you can actually follow and track every single interaction that someone makes with the bot is because we can check if, let's say, after message one, someone got to message two and maybe they didn't know the answer to a question, how to go get some information, maybe they got distracted, maybe they had to leave their phone for a moment, maybe they got a call, right? All sorts of things can happen. And so we wanna do a follow-up there, which is really easy to do because we've been tracking their progress. So what, what you would do is after message two, we're gonna have a little delay. And then after that, let's say we wait for, I usually wait 15 to 30 minutes with something like Legion. And then we're gonna check if their field has the value message one or if it has message two. If it does have message two, that means they moved on. If it has message one, then obviously they didn't get a chance to complete message two. And so we're gonna check if their funnel progress field has that message one value. And if it does, then we're just gonna send them a little follow-up, which I'm gonna notate here. And then we'd send them off to message three so that we can follow up and continue on with the last part of the message. Now for an overall lead gen flow, I'd say each of these messages 
can contain up to five to seven questions that you're gonna ask. Usually after that, you can either give your users a little bit of a break, maybe give them some content, or you say, hey, I'll check in later with you and ask you the rest of the questions. Usually after seven questions, it's a little bit much where a user might feel a little bit um, harassed or kind of like invasion of privacy where they're like, okay, how much information do you really need from me, right? So just make sure to respect your users, but also get enough information so that you can start to send them relevant content and also help them in the best way possible. So to recap, you've got over nine different ways that you can opt people in, including links, a website, someone could message your Facebook page, you can bring people in from a Facebook ad, even your Facebook page post comments. From there, we're gonna send them to an opt-in message inside of this overall thing called a flow. And then after each message moving forward, we're going to be using a tag in the field to track where they are in the campaign at any given point, right? This is also important for in the overall big picture, as you start to do more inside your bot, maybe you wanna send out a message to your whole list. Well, maybe you don't wanna send a message to someone who's in message two or three, because maybe they haven't finished this campaign yet. You can easily do that by tracking to know, I'm only gonna send a message to someone who doesn't have this tag or that tag, right? Just as an example. Now the field, I told you guys, we're gonna call funnel progress, and we're gonna make that value message one. And then we're gonna move on, but remember if someone doesn't finish message two, we're gonna follow up with them and then send them to message three so we can complete that campaign. And after you implement this, like I mentioned, there's so much more that you can do with your bot to where you can now send someone relevant content information, you can send them to book a call with the right person, uh, you can even send them directly to a purchase if you know exactly what they're looking for based on the questions that you ask. So I hope this is helpful for you guys and right after you watch this video, you can implement this immediately.